Hey everybody, this is Ryan Phillips at DV Creators, and what I want to do is show you how to turn daytime footage into nighttime footage using a plugin that's part of the Film Styles package. And there's a link below if you want to check that out. So let's take a look at this clip. We've got this woman who's standing on a beach, looks fairly epic, but let's say, you know, I didn't have time to keep the crew overnight and I really needed a nighttime establishing shot. As we all know, shooting during the day is a lot cheaper, so we shot it during the day. How can I possibly turn this into nighttime footage? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the effects browser, grab the day for night filter, throw it on the clip, and boom, I get instantly a fairly convincing nighttime look. So let's go to the inspector and dial this in. I want this to be a little bit later at night, so let's bring down the exposure a hair. And we've got this blue-green cast that will basically simulate that classic day-for-night blue look, but I'm going to pull that down. And the reason is because I want this to look later at night, and our eyes actually see less color the later it is. And so because of that reason, I'm also going to bring the saturation down a little bit. But as you can see, if I go to the right, you get a little bit more of the color there. But this to me looks like cheap day-for-night, and I want expensive day-for-night. So let's bring that down. Now what really nails this look is the darkened sky feature. So watch when I click this. I instantly darken the sky over the subject, makes it look much more realistic. And what we can do is dial that in. So here's a darkened amount. So it's very dark, it's very dark blue. Here's nothing. So I'm gonna go right about there. I want it to match not the darkest hue in the image, but close to it. And what makes this filter so dynamic is you can match any clip with this horizon line, so you can lower it. There's at the top, there's at the bottom, so let's bring this up a little bit. And what I prefer is a really softly blended edge. So I'm gonna use the blend edge slider, pull this down a little bit. And what that's doing is it's just making the transition here much softer. So if I go like this, there's a very hard line. But as I bring that down, it becomes this really nice soft transition. And with the mix effect, I can actually mix the entire look. So there's 0% up to 100%. So let's play the clip and take a look at some before and after here. <laughs> 